Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we saw the Viva question and answers of NCR series circuit and today in this video, we will be discussing the Viva woes of NCR parallel circuit. So let's begin with the video. The first thing is, what is the aim of experiment? It is to study the frequency response of parallel LCR circuit. Next comes the formula. So the formula are for resonant frequency, for bandwidth and the quality factor. Now have a look at the circuit diagram of the circuit. We have resistor, inductor and capacitor arranged in parallel manner. Now the question, what exactly is parallel LCR circuit? It is an electrical circuit which is built by bringing together inductor, capacitor and resistor in parallel arrangement. Both series and parallel circuit have the same component. It's just the arrangement that differs and due to which opposite effects are seen in these two circuits. The next question is how series LCR differs from parallel LCR. When we talk about series circuit, then at resonant frequency, the current value is maximum. And when we talk about the parallel circuit, then at resonant frequency, we get minimum value of current. The next question can be explain resonant frequency. So this frequency is denoted by F with the subscript R or omega R. And it is the frequency at which impedance is maximum due to which the current will be minimum. So this is known as the resonant frequency. Resonant frequency is given as F of R is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root of LC. But at low frequencies where inductor have notable internal resistance, the resistance should also be taken into account. And then we have the formula as F of R is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root of 1 upon LC minus R square upon L square. The next question is what is the condition for resonance? So it is the voltage and current should be in phase. Next we have what exactly happens at resonance. So the answer is voltage and current are in phase. Dynamic resistance is observed in the circuit. The circuit is entirely resistive which means the current value is minimum and XL equals to XC. Have a look at the graph where the first graph shows the plot of R versus omega and at resonant frequency that is omega R as you can see we are getting maximum value of impedance to be equal to R that is the impedance is purely resistive and now here we have the graph of I versus frequency so at resonant frequency I value is minimum and after that it again rises moving ahead the next question is how circuit behaves below and above resonance so below resonance the current lacks the voltage and my circuit is inductive whereas above resonance the current leads the voltage and my circuit is capacitive so the next question is Parallel LCR acts like which filter? The answer is band stop filter since it stops a band of frequency and it is also known as rejector circuit. Whereas in case of series LCR, it is known as band pass filter and also known as acceptor circuit. Define dynamic resistance. So it is denoted by R with the subscript D. Resonance impedance is purely resistive and current drops to minimum value. This pure resistance is termed as dynamic resistance. The next question is why parallel LCR is known as current magnifier circuit. When more current flows than the supplied current then we can say that current magnification has occurred. In parallel LCR current values get multiplied with the Q factor and we call it as current magnifier circuit. As you can see in this equation for IL we get Q times IS and for IC we also get Q times IS. The next question is what exactly is quality factor. It is denoted by the letter Q and quality factor defines the sharpness of the peak of the resonance curve. High quality factor value corresponds to sharper peak. Quality factor can be given as R upon XC that is equal to omega CR. Here is the graph showing the quality factor and the sharpness of the curve. Here Q3 is greater than Q2 and Q2 is greater than Q1. So the next question is how quality factor is related to the internal resistance of inductor. The shape of the curve can be varied either by increasing the internal resistance or by adding an external resistor that is shunt resistor. So if you are increasing the internal resistance of inductor then the quality factor will be reduced. Give the relationship between quality factor and bandwidth. Bandwidth is given as F of R upon Q. This can be written as Q to be equal to F of R upon bandwidth. So if my bandwidth is double, then the quality factor will be half. 
द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सेलेक्टिविटी ऑफ द सर्किट इफ द क्वालिटी फैक्टर इज हाई देन द बैंडविथ विल बी स्मॉल एंड द सेलेक्टिविटी विल बी हायर एंड इन केस ऑफ लो क्वालिटी फैक्टर द बैंडविथ विल बी लार्जर एंड द सेलेक्टिविटी विल बी लोअर coming to the last question of this video state the applications of lcr parallel circuit so it can be used as an oscillator circuit as a filter circuit in induction heating in current magnification etc here is the lcr parallel resonance circuit experiment the readings as you can see when frequency is increased the voltage value initially drops and then after a suitable increase of frequency we see the voltage value is again increasing this was around this is around 4.89 and here it was also around 4.8 and at this frequency that is 3k we got the minimum value of voltage that is 0.35 so this is my resonant frequency means resonant frequency will be around 3k so here is the graph and as you can see the result the, uh, the resonant frequency is 299.85 that is around 3k so that was all about this video i hope you understood the concept of lcr parallel resonance circuit wish you all the very best for the viva thank you so much